This is my brand new Craftsman LT4000. Um, I'm gonna be turning it into a racing mower, obviously inspired by my custom go-karts and the John Deere and the Murray. So over the next couple of months, we're gonna be making some videos on this and yeah, just show you what I have in mind for it. So today we're probably just gonna be taking off the deck and everything that has to do with mowing because we won't need that anymore. Um, just showing you this thing around. It does have a rip in the seat. Um, the steering, it's super tight. On the right side, it turns as soon as you move it, but on the left side, kind of got some play in it. So might need some new bushings or whatever. Um, it does have a clutch and it has six gears. And the throttle's down here, but we're going to probably figure out something to give it a gas pedal down there. Um, the battery's under here, but I want to drop the seat down to here, so we're going to have to relocate the battery. Maybe, I don't know what's under here, but I could probably put the battery under there. Maybe not. Um, the engine's super clean. Someone's been taking good care of it. So 12.5 horsepower, Briggs and Stratton. The headlights don't work. Maybe I'll do something there. Um, it has new tires on it. So yeah, I'm probably, well, I'm gonna take the axle, flip it up and rotate, flip it up and rotate it. So then I can drop the seat down and lower this thing way lower. Probably gonna be doing something here to raise the wheels up so this can drop down. And yeah, let's get started. got the deck off and then I got a lot of like the stuff that supports the deck off um so probably tomorrow I'm gonna just start taking everything off get into the frame figure out what I'm gonna do with the transaxle probably some kind of rotate it upside down and 180 degrees which will still keep it spinning the right way um yeah probably want this to maybe be about halfway down and then for the steering on the front i don't know, really know what i'm gonna do but yeah and then all of that under the frame that was supporting the uh, blades can come off, so, yeah. So much grass under here, and I don't know if you can see it. There's so much grass up under this mower. Tomorrow I'm definitely going to be cleaning it. So the top pulley, let me see if I can show you, is, I don't know, it's probably like 11 inches or something. It's absolutely massive. So, I mean, I don't really know, but this pulley is the one that the belt's on, the engine. And it's probably like one rotation. It's like a third of a rotation. So I'm gonna put like a one inch pulley on here. So I need to take the axle off to get to this. So we got the 
transaxle out and I want to be I want to be swapping this pulley for something way smaller so uh, yeah and it does that which is cool so yeah I don't really know That actually did not take too long. Uh, where did it go? So I got the little clip off. I didn't really have the right tool, but I kind of just hammered at it until it came off. And we're gonna be going for a pulley about half the size. I'm gonna go take this out and clean this. So I have no idea if this is going to work, but I was wondering if I can just press this out. It probably won't work. It'll probably dent it, but I thought I'd try. So I was not able to press out the middle of this pulley. So I ordered a new one. It's about three inches. Um, and it'll be coming tomorrow. So yeah, I don't really... I don't know how many videos I'm gonna do on this. Maybe one every month or something. But yeah, I'm not quite sure. So in the comments, let me know what you want, what do you think I should do. The battery's in here, right there. Um, but I need the axle or the transaxle to be a lot. It's probably like sitting right here. I need it to be up in here to lower this thing down. Um, which means I'll have to relocate the battery. I, there is a space I could, I don't know what I can put up in there, but maybe I can fit the battery in here, make some kind of door, or maybe, maybe I can slide the battery in between the engine and the steering column. I don't know if that's safe to have a battery beside an engine, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. So probably going to take off all the body work so then I can see what I need to do with the frame and stuff so yeah I'm not quite sure what I need to do with this and then I'm probably gonna I definitely need to lower the steering and these parts are welded on there so I'll have to cut these off maybe somehow flip this upside down to lower it I'm not quite sure but we're gonna keep thinking about it. I gotta probably get a new belt. This one's torn up in some spots. That can't, that's not gonna work. So get a new belt, get a new pulley. Um, yeah, I don't know if I wanna take this, like open this up and put new grease in it. I don't know. It seems to shift all right. I just don't know yet. Yep. I just got the new pulley. Um, it's a three inch instead of the original nine inch. This one right here. Um, so I'm hoping we can get some more speed out of this. So here's the pulley. And I really hope this fits because I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. And yes, it fits perfect. Oh my goodness, it fits perfect. 
All right, let's put in the, I don't know what it's called, the key, the key thing. 